so in this kit we have tried <coughs> to make a system where we can control the direction and speed of a dc motor uh, using micro switches so as you can see these are the micro switches uh, these they are momentary switches so if you press them uh, they'll turn on and when you leave them they'll turn off so through the, these switches we can control the direction of the dc motor using uh, with reference to this uh, lcd display so the first two buttons control the direction of the dc motor the second two switches control the speed of the dc motor uh, using the t on and t off inputs now the technology that we use to run this uh, project or this kit is called uh, pwm that is uh, pulse width modulation technology so uh, as you can see the total sum of uh, t on and t off uh, remains 40 uh, that is how we have programmed this so it remains 40 milliseconds so with this button you can uh, change the direction as you can see here the direction of the uh, motor will change and through the second column of uh, micro switches you can control the speed so as you can see the t on value is increasing so and the third column from the right uh, controls the on and off of the motor so once you switch on the first button the motor starts working and after switching it off you can reset uh, the t on value so as you can see right now uh, the motor is running at its maximum speed you can also control change the direction of the motor So you can order this kit from our website www.kitscrew.com where you will find two versions of the kit. One is a complete ready made kit where you will get this entire uh, working kit and the other one is a complete breakdown kit where you will get uh, all the components separately uh, with uh, the PCB and uh, the program microcontroller. Uh, so and with the help of our video tutorials you will be able to assemble and prepare the kit by yourself. In this part of the video, now we'll see what all components are used in this kit and how these components are assembled together and how the power supply is controlled and how to monitor the power supplies and then uh, what, are the, what all are the components in detail. So for that first we have uh, prepared a ready-made kit for our reference and then uh, at this side we have all the components kept separately so that we can assemble them according to the ready-made kit and then uh, test the entire power supply. So first we we'll take a look at the PCB. Now as you can see there are two PCBs used. One is the PCB for the microcontroller. The other one is the motor driver PCB. So this is the main PCB. <coughs> now a PCB has two sides. This, this is the top side. This is the bottom side. Uh, the top side is used to insert all the components and the bottom side where the uh, copper tracks are present are used to uh, solder the components. Now the technology that we use is called a through hole technology where we drill holes uh, throughout the PCBs and then uh, insert the components from the top side and then solder it on the bottom side. So in this uh, PCB there are mainly three sections. One is the section of the power supply. The other one is a section of the microcontroller and the third one is a section of the LCD. We will come to the motor driver PCB later. So starting off with uh, this uh, main PCB. Now I have kept the blank PCB in line uh, with the ready made PCB so that we can have uh, a correlation and we can identify the components at the right position. So starting off with the power jack. So this is used to supply power through an adapter as you can see so uh, the power jack goes here and along with the power jack sometimes if you need to uh, give uh, the power supply through an, uh, a battery for that we provide a two pin connector then uh, a switch is given an on and off switch to switch on and switch off the uh, kit so as you can see this So this is the switch and then <coughs> there is a bridge rectifier. A bridge rectifier converts the AC input uh, into DC output. So 
uh, if you are giving in uh, input through a transformer power supply through a transformer this bridge rectifier will convert that into a dc uh, output so when you take a look at the bridge rectifier there are basically four terminals as you can see four terminals so on top of the terminals uh, there are symbols given so the two ac symbols represent the ac input and the positive and negative symbol represent the dc output so when you notice the length of the stems corresponding to the terminals you notice that the positive terminal has a longer stem so while inserting or while connecting the bridge rectifier we need to ensure that the uh, positive terminal is on the top right and the rest of the pins will adjust accordingly so as you can see this is a, a positive terminal and then to remove all the AC repulses that were produced during the rect rectification process and to uh, convert the pulsating DC into smooth DC we attach a thousand microfarad uh, capacitor now even this capacitor has polarity so the longer stem has is the positive terminal uh, or if sometimes both the stem are of equal length then uh, you'll notice that there's a blue strip with negative indication on it which tells us that this is a negative terminal so while inserting the capacitor we need to ensure that the negative terminal is facing you so that the positive terminal of the capacitor is in line with the positive terminal of the bridge rectifier and then we need to give a parallel supply power supply as you can see parallel power supply to this uh, PCB so for that we connect an another 2 pin connector so while connecting this 2 pin connector we need to ensure that the red wire is on the uh, right side or <coughs> also we need to ensure that the the supply the power supply comes on the left side the the power supply is positive on the left terminal which is in line with this uh, capacitor so that will come to we'll come to that later so to convert as the entire circuit and the microcontrollers work uh, at 5 volts we need to convert uh, the input signal into 5 volt smooth out output signal for that we use this 7805 voltage regulator IC as you can see so the part the face with uh, the technical specifications written on it is the front face and the left the left stem or left terminal is the first terminal which is the input and the rightmost terminal which is the third terminal is, is is the 5 volt output so while inserting we need to make sure that the uh, that the front face is facing us that means the left terminal the first terminal will be on the left side so this completes the section of the power supply so now we'll come to the microcontroller section so we can fix the microcontrollers directly but it is advised to use an IC base so this is the microcontroller base so what happens is sometimes while soldering uh, directly or while fixing the microcontroller directly your uh, microcontroller might get damaged or in the future you might need to replace your microcontroller so for that we use this IC uh, base so when you keep this in front of you you'll notice that the microcontroller has a notch now the notch is, uh, the microcontroller is fixed such that the notch is on the right side as you can see here. So this means that the top right pin is the first pin and counting counterclockwise the bottom right pin is the 40th pin. So even in this base we will make sure that this notch is on the right side so first we will fix the base. And on top of the base you will fix the microcontroller so this microcontroller runs on a clock frequency so uh, for that we use an, a crystal oscillator of 10 megahertz and to start the oscillation process we use uh, two capacitors of 33 picofarad uh, which is attached in parallel Now to pull down the uh, port 0 of the microcontroller we use a resistor of 10 kilo ohm with uh, color code brown, black and orange.
and to reset the microcontrollers at any given point we use a reset switch so then we'll fix the switches the switches which control the direction uh, and speed of the motor so all the switches goes here one by one we can connect it later and then we'll come on to the section of the lcd so this is a male butt strip which in which is inserted directly into this slot here and this is a female butt strip which is attached to the micro uh, to the lcd here and then it has to be soldered and fixed on to the male butt strip to control the to control the brightness of the lcd we attach a potentiometer of 10 kilo ohm here now we new we use a network resistor of uh, 10 kilo ohm uh, these are basically eight resistors of 10 kilo ohm each uh, plus uh, a port to connect this resistor to the vcc so when <coughs> you keep this resistor and network resistor in front of you you'll notice that there is a code written on the black portion of the resistor plus there's a dot on the left side so while inserting this network resistor you need to make sure that the dot is facing you and you can see there's an led here which represents the power indicator so the led now the led has uh, two ports uh, positive and negative two terminals so the stem which is longer in length is the positive terminal now sometimes if the stems are of equal length you'll notice that the led bulb is usually round but at the negative terminal it'll be flat when you feel the led bulb it'll be flat so while connecting the led you need to ensure that the negative terminal is facing you and along with the led we provide a resistor of 1 kilo ohm with uh, color code brown black and red so this is to protect the led in case of uh, a higher current which flows and which might damage the led and also we will connect a four pin connector so this is to give the output signal to the uh, motors so once we've done we've done connections on this uh, pcb uh, once you keep connecting the components you also need to ensure that you keep soldering them so that is easy for them to you know be fixed on the pcb so once you finish this part uh, we'll move on to the next pcb I'll even keep this PCB in line with uh, the motor driver PCB. So, starting off with the power supply, a two-pin connector. So, <clears throat> while connecting this two-pin connector and giving the power supply, we need to ensure that the pin on the top side, that is the pin which is not facing you. has to get the positive supply from the main power supply from this pcb so the left terminal of this connector should give the power supply to the top terminal of this connector because this connector is in line with the input stem or the input terminal of the voltage regulator ic so while connecting the voltage regulator ic the terminal which gives out 5 volt should be facing you and the input should be facing the input uh, at this terminal so after that as you can see there's another microcontroller used with the base so this does this does not have any polarity or notch so you can this is a symmetrical uh, ic so 
so this can be fixed in any direction this is a motor driver ic l293d and then there are two terminals or two connectors from through which we will connect uh, the microcontrollers to the motors as you can see these are two terminals so right now we have connected only one motor you can connect one more motor as per choice and then we'll also connect a four pin connector so this four pin connector controls the output from the microcontroller as you can see so once this is done you'll also see a few metallic wires in the circuit so these are called jumper wires so it is sometimes very difficult to uh, form tracks at the bottom side of the pcb for that we give connections from the top side so we'll give you separate wires through which you can peel it off and you can finish the connections of the jumper wires here so once these uh, connections are completed before connecting the ic and the lcd we'll ensure that the power supplies are okay and as required so for that we'll use a, a digital multimeter so this is a common terminal the black terminal is a com common terminal which has to be attached to the body of the voltage regulator ic which is ground so as you know the left or the first stem of the voltage so the power supplies has to be tested uh, through with the help of a digital multimeter so these are the two terminals of the digital multimeter so the black terminal is the common terminal which has to be connected to the body of the voltage regulator ic which is uh, the common terminal the first terminal from the left side should show the uh, the input signal uh, the last terminal should show the output 5 volt the last pin of the microcontroller should show 5 volts the second and the second last pin of the LCD should show 5 volts. Then the input at the motor dri driver circuit should show 5 volts. Sorry, uh, the input signal. The output should show 5 volts at the voltage regulator IC. Then the microcontroller should show 5 volts at the first pin. 12 volts here or, the, or whatever they see at the input is 5 volts again and then the input signals so once all these power supplies have been checked then you can move on to uh, fixing your ICs and the LCDs and uh, start your circuit uh, to order this kit, you can visit our website uh, www.kitscrew.com where you will find two versions of the kit. Uh, one is the complete ready-made kit. The other one where you will get a complete broken down kit uh, where you will have to assemble all the components by yourself. Uh, we will provide you the PCB and the program microcontroller and with the help of our video tutorials uh, on soldering as well as uh, this part of the video, you will be able to assemble the entire kit by yourself. Music